All right, so new smartphone by Doogie. This is the Doogie V10. It's a brand new rugged smartphone. And we're gonna be checking this out together for the very first time. Okay, let's get that box open. All right, take the phone out, screen protector. Wow, wow, that's a hefty phone. First impression is very thick. Um, 16.1 millimeters and it weighs 340 grams. There is a screen protector applied. So this is Doogie's latest rugged smartphone. Um, it supports dual 5G, triple cameras on the back, and you've also got a forehead temperature thermometer built in. So that's very handy in this day and age. And this phone does have advanced features like wireless charging, a massive monster 8,500 milliamp hour battery, 48 megapixel primary, and lots more. So just place the phone on the side for now. Let's see what else we get inside the box. We've got a spare screen protector, user manual. You've got a screen protector accessory. So that looks like an alcohol wipe. So we've got a plastic pry tool. So that's gonna to be to access the SIM card tray. Type-C to Type-C cable. And there is a lanyard strap included, which I nearly missed. And the power brick is USB Type-C. It's a 33 watt fast charger included in the box. First and foremost, it's a rugged smartphone. So it's IP68 and IP69K rated, which means it is dustproof, shockproof, uh, waterproof, and it's been proper drop tested by the Doogie team as well. So it's made from an ultra tough rubberized plastic. You've got these uh, metal sides finished in this orange color, so black and orange. It does look uh, quite nice. Although as mentioned before, it is on the thicker side. So 16.1 millimeters thick and it weighs 340 grams. So you can expect some heft. Now on the front, we have a 6.39 inch HD plus dot display. That's 720 by 1560, 270 pixels per inch and you do have Gorilla Glass protection. Now the phone is powered by the MediaTek Dimensity 700. That's 2.2 gigahertz octa-core, and it is supported with the Mali G57. You've also got eight gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage. That's UFS 2.2. It is running Android 11, and it gives you a very close to stock-like experience with very minimal bloatware. Now, one of the major highlights, it's got an 8,500 milliamp hour battery with 33 watt fast charger included in the box. So certainly good to have a fast charger, especially for that massive battery. Not only that, as a bonus, you've got 10 watts wireless charging, and this also supports reverse wireless charging. So you can take advantage of that large battery capacity by charging your other compatible devices. You've got dual SIM 5G support. There's triple cameras on the back. So 48 megapixel primary, eight megapixel wide, and you've got a two megapixel portrait. And over here, you have an infrared forehead thermometer and you've got dual led flash and on the front you have a 16 megapixel camera and it is a hole punch camera on the left now you've got a dedicated side fingerprint sensor which is very fast and efficient you've got a power button above it and your volume buttons all the buttons appear to be made from metal and they do feel very nice to the touch at the top you have nothing on the side you have your sim card tray so without the pry tool, I was able to open it and it supports dual 5G SIMs. Um, I don't see a dedicated micro SD card slot anywhere. So this phone does not support micro SD. And you do have a custom button over here, which you can customize so it can open any app you like. At the bottom, we've got our charger port and it is, of course, USB type C and it stays sealed and watertight with that latch. So very interested in the thermometer feature. So let's just tap the app. Let's go a bit closer because one to three centimeters. It's quite close. There we go. 35.9. That is really interesting. So you can check the temperature of people, but you can also do objects. So let's try an object. I'm going to grab my phone, turn it over. It should be cold because I'm not using it. It's the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Let's hit measure. So 25.2. That's quite instant. There's an LED light here, which does generate heat. And it's been constantly on for a while. Let's check out the temperature of this light. 39.9. I don't know why, but this feature is exciting me, especially um, with the health crisis going on right now. 
36 degrees Celsius. So that is the safe zone. It's in green. If it goes uh, any higher, it would be in red or orange. So I'm actually quite impressed with the thermometer feature straight away. And I'll let you guys know in the comments um, what my results were for that. Quick look at the cameras. So first of all, panorama mode, beauty. We have video mode, picture, bokeh, pro, night mode, and then you've got a dedicated HDR mode. Now if I just take it straight to the video mode and hit settings, you can see that electronic image stabilization is now on. Video format, most compatible, video quality. So 2K resolution is the maximum it will shoot. If we go back, picture, settings. So maximum resolution supported is 48 megapixels. And we're gonna to have to do a quick test as well. So just taking a photo, first of all, and I'll share the results up on screen. That actually looks quite good. I wanna try the bokeh effects and I'm not expecting much from this. But let's see, so the background is completely blurred out. Edge detection, sorry, edge detection doesn't look bad. And you can enhance that further. So maximum bokeh effect, this is what it looks like. And then if I just go halfway, this is what it looks like. So I wanna see what the edge detection is like. Again, I'm not expecting much. Um, it's a good idea to try out night mode. So if I switch off all the studio lights, Alexa, switch off lights. Okay. All right, so all the lights are off. We've just got a little bit of natural light coming in from the right, but otherwise it's quite a dark room. So taking a night shot and it took it really quick. I'll put the results up on screen. So you should have an idea of the image quality, both photos and night shots. Let's do a quick video, bring our friend back in, start shooting some video. So this is 2K video resolution. Just pan the camera a little bit. Obviously I'm not testing out the EIS because I'm not walking around, but generally just want to give you a quick idea of what the video quality is like, including the focusing. So you've got Google services, so YouTube, Gmail, YouTube Music, and of course the Google Play Store is all there available. Uh, so you can go ahead and download all your games and apps. And the MediaTek Diamond City is quite a capable processor, uh, plenty of power and performance to run more or less any app you like. And I'm actually downloading COD Mobile as we speak. I just downloaded Call of Duty Mobile. I wanna check out the graphics performance, but at the same time we get the opportunity to test out the speakers to see how good they sound. So I'm gonna leave it on simple audio and graphics. You can see by default, it's set to low and medium. I'm gonna put it on medium and high. We're gonna see what sort of graphics this can handle. And we're gonna play a multiplayer game of Domination, which is my favorite. It does seem like we have a single speaker on the back. There's only one speaker grill and all the sound seems to be coming from there. It's quite a large speaker grill, so let's play some Call of Duty. So medium graphics, high frame rate. Sound is really loud. Cleaned house there. Changing mag, cover me. As you guys just saw, a very, very decent gaming performance, even at medium with high frame rate. 
the game was very playable on this unit. And in the anti two benchmark test, the Doogie V10 achieved 358k. So there you have it, guys. That was my first look at the Doogie V10, the new 5G rugged smartphone offering a very good performance, massive 8,500 milliamp hour battery. So that means three to four days battery life with normal usage. And fortunately, you do get a 33 watt fast charger included in the box. Furthermore, you have triple AI Samsung cameras on the back with that incredible infrared forehead thermometer, which is quite an impressive feature. It works on people, animals and even objects or food. The phone has plenty of RAM and storage, wireless charging, IP68 and IP69K certification. You've also got military standard 810G durability, so durable, shockproof, waterproof, etc. You've got a decent looking bright display running Android 11. So my initial experience with this phone has been quite good. This is definitely one of the better all round 5G rugged smartphones and is capable of dual SIM 5G, which is another plus point. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. <music>